today we're going to be talking about four different types of collars. The Kent collar, Spread collar, Oxford, and the Club collar. So the first collar we're going to be talking about is the Kent collar. Kent collar is most recognized by the long wings. I guess this is more, this is formal and informal, meaning you can wear it with or without a tie. Right, it's pretty much the, uh, the starter collar. This is like probably the first collar you had on one of your shirts, honestly. Yeah, yeah. This growing up, this is the only collar I knew about. Right. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's the, it's the standard unless you're looking for something different. Honestly. Yeah, exactly. So whether you're buying a shirt or you're renting a shirt, this is the shirt that's going to be at every store. Exactly. Still one of my favorites. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, the the long wings kind of make me feel a little older, and not as I feel like the shorter shorter wings is a more younger younger feel because when you I mean you look back and you see pictures from like the 20s and the, exactly. the 40s they always had the longer the longer wings and that was you know now things are getting shorter and shorter and that's kind of what speaking to style now that's more traditional exactly yeah exactly. so it's more it's more like your dad yeah so the second collar we're gonna be talking about is, is the spread collar it's most recognized by its horizontal and shorter wings it's more formal mm -hmm. um, you, you pretty much always need a tie right it doesn't stand up as well without, because the, the wings are so short that it kind of flops down and starts to look bad. But uh, it is also great for for a tie because there's a lot of room for a nice knot. Yeah, exactly. So this was brought into fashion by the Duke of Windsor. Um, he wanted to create a collar that would hold it for his Windsor knot, which is nice and wide. Exactly. It's really, um, it's, if you can see, if it's a full Windsor or half Windsor, they perfect right here. Right, because that's, I mean, that's the idea when you're tying a tie is you want it, your tie to fill up the collar. So the wider the collar, the bigger the tie knot you're going to need. Exactly. So refer to our video on the full and a half Windsor. Exactly. How to's. And uh, next we have a uh, Oxford or also called a button down. And uh, this was invented by uh, Brooks Brothers in the early 20th century. And basically they were inspired by a uh, polo players and it was like sporting events so it's a more casual shirt um, you see it a lot in the workplace it's a it's a work shirt but it's definitely not to be worn to formal events you definitely want a collar with collar stays and a nice crisp collar not a button down for a, a formal event yeah I mean I think you can still wear this I mean if you're I, I think for a sport events you can wear it and it'll be pinned down you want to worry about the collar flapping out right exactly so and nice. it, and you can wear it with or without a tie, it'll still look good, but even, even with it, I like it with a tie actually, I think it looks yeah. great with the, the thing buttoned down. I'm actually wearing one today, I think this, oh I'm wearing it because it's, it's my favorite, oh you're wearing it, oh nice. <laughs> so I guess we're wearing the Oxford. Informal. <laughs> very informal. The last one we have is the club collar, and it was uh, very popular in the 1920s, and it's actually making a comeback kind of in the last few years, you start to see a lot more club collars with the contrasting white collar. And you know, like a colorful shirt oh, yeah. with a contrast white collar, I think it looks very awesome. It's a more spring summer exactly. kind of collar look because I feel like the spread and the uh, Kent are more kind of winter formal, serious, and this is kind of like more laid back, lighter, yeah. summertime kind of vibe. I just, I, I just love the, the the rounded wings though. Exactly. That's I mean that's what dis distinguishes the club collar yeah. is the rounded wings. And basically, how it kind of came about was country clubs would. Um, embroider their logo on club collared shirts and it would you know if you were in a member of the country club you would have the club wow. club shirt so it would be a club collar for a club shirt hence the name and uh, you always want to wear a tie with this it really makes the club collar pop on it does it looks great especially with a knitted tie mm -hmm. you know it looks nice and casual right. but you look really defined so these are four types of collars you have the the spread the kent the button down or oxford and the uh, club collar and these are just four of many different types of collars. Yeah, basically the only difference with the names is how much width there is when the opening of the collar and how tall the collar is or the rounding of the wings. That's pretty much where you have room to play in collars, exactly. per se. So um, be sure to subscribe, like, and uh, comment on Gents Lounge and uh, follow us at Gents Lounge on Instagram and uh, hashtag your pictures with hashtag Gents Lounge and uh, let us know maybe what color is your favorite in the comments below.